In this video, I'll be demonstrating this gorgeous festive painting using oils. If you'd like to paint along with me, I've provided a free tracing and that's available on the Mazat Academy and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Okay, so very annoyingly, I lost the footage for um, this underpainting. It just didn't record properly at all. Um, so I'll just talk you through it. What I've done is I've put an acrylic wash over the whole of the canvas, transferred my image, and then just very lightly gone over some of the drawing just to put some shading on there with a little burnt umber. So that's a burnt umber wash and then just some shading with burnt umber and that's all with acrylic um, you want to let that dry and then switch to your oils so i've laid out my normal 12 colors and the medium that i'll be using today is some liquid original and i'm going to begin with some burnt sienna and some medium and we're going to put a wash on the entire background on that brick wall Make sure when you're adding this wash that it goes on nice and transparently. Adding just enough of that medium to make the paint flow and stay transparent. Next, create a little shadow using some ultramarine and some burnt umber. For the mantelpiece, I'm using some yellow ochre with a little bit of burnt sienna. And use a little burnt umber to begin adding some darker details. Mix in some yellow ochre with some titanium white. I'm going to begin highlighting the mantle. For the brick wall, I'm switching to a Q-tip and I'm going to begin erasing to create the illusion of this brickwork. I'm being careful not to make these too bright. Using a little burnt umber, I'm going to begin establishing a little bit of shadow on the corner of some of these bricks. I want to keep this very, very loose. Using a little cadmium orange and yellow ochre with a small touch of white. And we'll pop on a highlight. And again, I want to keep this very, very loose. I'm very careful to keep this highlight out of this shadowed area. And using a light grey mix, I'm just going to pop on a little highlight in between the bricks. I don't want to overdo this. And again, only put that in 
the lightest areas. For the decorations on the mantelpiece, I'm going to block in with some sap green and some black, and then I'll use some alizarin crimson just to block in some of the details. Whilst I've got the alizarin, I'll also block in Santa's sleeve. To create the poinsettias, I'm going to use a wipeout tool and I'm just going to draw some basic shapes. If you don't have one of these tools, you can always use the edge of a palette knife. So before I begin highlighting these poinsettias, I'm going to begin highlighting the um, ferns that are here. And for that, it's, I've gone with a slightly lighter green and just a simple pull down stroke. We'll build up the lights and darks on this. Keep adding more yellow and a little more white tea mixture and we'll go a little bit brighter. Always build those highlights up very slowly. Adding more white and yellow to that mixture. But don't lose your darks when you begin the highlighting. Using cadmium red, we're going to begin creating the poncietas. I'm using yellow ochre now to tap in a centre. And add some white to the yellow ochre to pop on a highlight. I'm using some cadmium red to block in the gift. Adding a little alizarin to the side to add some shadow. To highlight, I'll use some cadmium orange. And for the ribbon, we'll just brush over a little bit of yellow ochre. I am applying this paint quite thinly so that we're able to highlight later. I'm using white cadmium yellow and a little yellow ochre. Don't cover all of the yellow ochre. You want some of that to show through as shadow. Then using mostly white, we'll pop in some extra highlights. For the glove, I'm using a light grey colour and using a little black to add some shadow. I'm also going to dance in a little cadmium red for some reflection, reflected light. And we'll use thick titanium white to pop on a highlight. I'm switching now to a small dome blender, um, a smooshing brush. This is from Rosemary & Co. I'm back into the grey and I really want to just kind of tap and scrub this on. 
As we get nearer to the top, we can switch to titanium white and continue with the tapping. And I'll do the same with cadmium red on the sleeve, just tapping that on to create that texture. For the stocking, I'm going to mix some white with a little touch of yellow ochre and add some medium. We want to apply a nice thin base cover and I want to put this on nice and thin and I'm also not looking to cover some of that um, underpainting. Just brushing a light colour. You want to put this on nice and thinly. Now I've got a thinner covering on there. I'm going to go to a little burnt umber, very little on the brush. And again, just brushing that over, allowing it to pick up the color underneath and create a little bit of shadow and folds. Notice how everything is going on nice and thin and transparent so I can still see all the details underneath. Now we can begin highlighting, this time with a thicker mix of titanium white and the yellow ochre. So now our lights and darks are on the stocking, we can start adding some of the fun stuff, some of those little details. I'm going to go across the top with some alizarin crimson. Using yellow ochre to give a trim, highlighting with a little cadmium yellow. And then titanium white for the sparkle. I'm going to use a Q-tip just to erase back a little of that alizarin crimson and into that we'll pop a little sap green and pop a little highlight. Using cadmium red to pop the little flowers on. And yellow ochre in the center. Highlighting with a little titanium white. So I'm going to continue with the rest of the decorations in the same way. Switch into a smaller brush where I need to. The easiest way to paint this is actually do one colour and cover everything that you can see in that particular colour. As you can see I've just done everything that I can see in white. And now I'm going to paint everything that I can see in red.
So as I start to come to the end of the painting, I really want to start adding some very thick titanium white and bringing out some highlights. And finally, I want to put all that lovely edging around the edge of the stocking, all that stitching. You may find it easier to add just a little of that liquid to thin the paint slightly. And once you're happy with your painting, you want to sign it. I really do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and you'll consider having a go yourself. Don't forget the free tracing is available on the Mazart Academy and I will leave a link to that in the description box below. If you are enjoying the tutorials on this channel, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I would like to take this opportunity to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a happy 2023. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. In this video, we'll be painting this gorgeous Christmas... In this video, we'll be painting this gorgeous Christmas video. No, we won't. In this video, we'll be point... Ugh, dear me. In this video, we'll be painting this lovely Christmas... <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Okay, that bit done.